If you want to buy some cheap Ultimate Team coins, head over to igvault.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourselves a cheeky little discount off your coins. Yes, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. We have another squad builder, of course, absolutely banging out the squad builders on this particular channel, trading videos on the second channel. But um, I've started a brand new like PlayStation account. I had 200,000 coins to build a team and actually I had 220. So this team cost 220,000 coins and I wanted to build a team around this player here because I think this car looks really, really good. Of course, we had, I think it was the player of the month um, versions of this card early on in the cycle and they were really good. Of course, we also had the patch, which does change things. You know, the taller players aren't as good as they were, um, but players, yeah, look at this, look at these stats. 91 pace, 90 dribbling, 88 shooting. Um, so four star skills, four star weak foot, very tall. As you can see here, eight goals in two games. That's because I've started a brand new account. I'm in the lower division. So it is quite simple, straightforward games for me. So as I said, 220,000 coins for this team. So it's, you know, I'm going to say if you want to build this team from scratch, you need 250,000 coins to make sure you get all the players with the best chem styles. Um, if you have one or two players untradeable, you can build this for like under 200,000 coins. It really depends which players you have. Um, I think that generally speaking at this point of the game, I find that so many people have so many untradeable cards. Um, I think because EA just pump out SBCs and give you loads of packs. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if one of you have, you know, a card from this list. So let's kick things off. I'm going to build this squad in the way that I actually started to think about this team and put it together. So of course, with Gakpo, you need chemistry from the Eredivisor League and also Dutch players. So I figured, you know what, we're going to have to go for Dirk Kite because he's going to give us uh, two for the league and obviously he is also the same nationality. He's very cheap. Uh, you can get him for around 30,000 coins. Uh, he's a decent centre mid. Um, it's kind of weird because he's not particularly great at defending, but he's a good kind of midfielder. Um, he's more of a chemistry filler than anything, um, but still a very decent card. It also makes your team look pretty good if you've got multicolored cards, right? So that's why we've gone for him. And then for the right wing, we've actually gone for Bergwijn, or how do you say his name? Bergwijn? I don't even know how you say this guy's name. Um, but wicked player, loads of pace. He's got a couple of upgrades now, so he's 85 rated, 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 84 shooting, 81 passing. Lovely card. Um, and he's basically just your left mid or right mid if you're playing a 4-4-2 or maybe a 4-3-3, something like that. Um, and now for this, we do have full chemistry. As long as you do have a manager uh, from the same league, you're going to have full chemistry because you're going to get two players as effectively from the same league with this card. So on the pitch, it think you it's going to think you have four, then plus one for the manager. So that's going to give you plus, uh, you know, five from the same league, which gives you plus two. And then, of course, the nationality boost there. So you've got full chemistry on those players um, now I wanted to find some other players that I thought are really good value uh, to put into a team for around the 200,000 coin mark and that is going to be Papin um, I actually got this card untradeable on my account just when the World Cup heroes come out so I think he was around 100,000 coins when he first dropped and at the time he was still an unreal card 94 shooting he's only got 85 fates 85 dribbling um, but I still think he's a wicked card again look seven goals two games um, yeah just a really good card and of course the uh, French League is a really strong league this year with some very cheap affordable players like Renato Sanchez for example and uh, Hakimi right back after watching uh, the World Cup what a World Cup this guy had I can't believe the, the, the composure of that penalty was unreal uh, but 92 pace on this right back still costing 8,000 coins at this point in the game cycle when we've got Messi and Ronaldo's down at like 60 to 70,000 coins uh, so it goes to show you that this card is really really solid um, so that's going to give us uh, mostly full chemistry on the League One players apart from the goalkeeper we're going to bring in is going to be Donnarumma it could be Donnarumma it could be Navas it doesn't matter uh, they're both PSG goalkeepers so that's going to now give us full chemistry on all of our League One players and again I wanted to go for another league so we're going to go for a free league hybrid uh, so for the left wing, we are going to go for Vinicius Jr. Then we're going to go for Mendy as our left back. So you can see where this is going. This is going to go down the Real Madrid route. Uh, Mendy actually being French, so that helps as well. Edda Militao there. And finally, we're going to have Rudiger. Now, Rudiger, uh, talking about budgets and how much players cost, this card costs so many coins uh, during the start of the game cycle. Um, and then, of course, the patch come out, which meant that lengthy centre-backs weren't as OP as they are now. They're still amazing still like center backs right but um they've basically boosted the explosive and more controlled players uh, more so but still for 20,000 coins, you're getting an insane centre back here. Uh, him alongside Edda Militao. Obviously, Rudiger is the better centre back, in my opinion. Uh, Mendy, and then we have Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr., oh my god, 
uh, pre patch this card, you know, but I think it went up to like two or 300,000 coins just as the game come out. Everyone started using him and it was something wrong with the explosive running style that he felt like he had 70 pace. It was stupid, but now he's really, really good. Five star skills, four star weak foot. His shooting is a little bit bad at times, especially if you're shooting with his weak foot. He will drag the ball across the goal and it will miss the target all the time. Um, but if you know how to skill, you know how to use his pace, then he's a really, really good player. Of course, Mendy, one of the best left backs in the game. So a really solid team here. You can play this team as a 4-4-2, maybe a 4-1-2-1-2 um, because obviously Dirk Kite's got some attacking uh, side of him as well. So it's, it, in fact, it's a very attacking. If you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.